Okay, so let's take a look at one of the um, one of the coolest features, one of the two coolest features I think in the new Lumion 9, uh, which is the real skies function and the customizable 3D grass function. Now, again, these these functions are only available for Lumion Pro, so be careful with that. So I have this 3D model from SketchUp that I downloaded from the 3D warehouse. I'm going to use the Lumion Live Sync uh, plugin to open it and you know modify it at the same time in Lumion as in SketchUp, right? So if we go to Lumion, you're going to see that it's already open and we are going to have our landscape right here. Now let's start with the 3D grass, which I, th which I think is one of the coolest functions that we have in Lumion 9. So before we'll, we'll, the option that we had was uh, you know this landscape grass that we can turn on and off and it was only applicable maybe to to you know to the landscape right so i could, I could turn uh, this material into landscape material and um and we could have a sort of 3d grass as you guys can see over here it wasn't i think it was cool but it didn't have that much much uh you know customizable options so right now the 3d grass option that we have if we want to apply it we can go over here to the material library go to nature let's zoom out a little bit we can go to nature and where it says 2d grass we can we we we're not going to click over there we're going to click on 3d grass and here you're going to see a a, a series of options uh, from wild grass to checkerboard grass, clean cut grass, circular grass, etc, etc, etc. So let's click on one of these. And as you guys can see, this is for example the circular grass, which looks pretty pretty cool. Uh, it would look cooler if we were like in a big 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 uh, you know farm. Let's select another one, for example the clean cut grass. This looks uh, very very clean. Um, the farm grass. that if we zoom in we're going to see how it looks like you know like there were crops over here uh, and we have also wild grass we have another option of wild grass etc 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 right so I like this I like this grass but I also like the wild grass I would want to divide this in two types of, of grasses so let's go back to our SketchUp model and for example let's divide materials so let's let's say this mountain has a different type of grass so let's just change the material over here and if we go back to our model we are going to see that for example over here on ground cover we can apply another grass over here so let's apply the wild grass on this one so as you guys can see if I wanted to divide for example uh, this surface into various materials like so for example let's say let's paint this material over here uh, let's paint it over here in the back as well And we, we would and we would go back to our 3d model and we could apply a different type of grass for example here we could apply um, maybe a clean cut grass a checkerboard grass here we could apply another type of uh, wild grass perhaps maybe this doesn't look as cool as we thought So as you guys can see, we can apply different types of materials and different types of grasses to our model. Uh, and let's say we want to modify one of these type of grasses. This is the other option that we have. We double click on on the material grass. So on the material, so for example, we double click on circular grass. And let's say I wanted to face another direction, right? So I go to um, map rotation and I just rotate the map just a little bit so it looks just like this and here we have the map 
and let's say for example to this wild grass let's say over here I want to uh, maybe make it let's get closer right so I maybe want to make it cut grass as you guys can see it's like they're cutting the grass so let's make it a little bit shorter make it a little bit smaller perhaps yes and we can also you know modify the gravity force the bending force the length the size etc 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 we can do many many things with this until it looks just like we want it now what I'm, what, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some vegetation real quick so we can go and export our image as a render okay so I'm just going to speed this up a little bit okay guys so now that we have applied our clean cut our uh, circular grass and we have uh, put some vegetation on it's time to go to the photo mode and let's take a look at the real skies function so as you guys can see um, we can go here to custom style select any style you want maybe realistic or dawn perhaps okay I like this maybe let's say daytime okay so let's go with dawn And I'm going to go to effects now you don't want to use the Sun or the sky in the clouds because when you use uh, this the real skies effect uh, it is going to override the sky and the Sun so let's go to effects over here and let's go to weather and clouds and let's go to real skies now as you guys can see uh, when we go to the real skies option we can see there are 39 options or 38 I think uh, 38 different HDRI skies uh, for now we cannot import these skies in like our own HDR HDRI skies in, into Lumion but I think in the future we will we will be able to I hope so but for now we have uh, a lot of options like from cloudy evening morning overcast sunset etc 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 so let's go to morning let's select for example this one Okay, this looks pretty nice and here we can rotate it so we can select you know the Sun come over here or maybe okay I like this now let's change the focal length maybe a little bit so, so it can be more centered on the house and now let's save this scene for example here let's say store camera okay so as I was making this video I saw that um, there were so many things more there were so many more things that I could do with this incredible model that I took the time to put more vegetation in to create like a whole scene so I'm just going to take, to, to take you guys through it here is you know the wild grass that we talked about before I put in some cows I put uh, some rocks along the way this is all from the Lumion library and I put different kinds of vegetation over here on the border and over here next to the house I put some fallen leaves and overall I just fix the materials on all the house so we can you know take advantage of this model and create many more and more scenes so I'm just going to, to, to show you guys the scenes that I created um, so for example if you go to photo mode there are various scenes that uh, you know just look so awesome and as you guys can see these these aren't you know any strange effects I'm doing over here it's uh, the, the daytime presets but with the real skies the two-point perspective turned on and nothing else so as you guys can see you know it, it looks very very awesome it's more about you know knowing how to set up your model um, here I use a little bit of vol volumetric sunlight a little bit of lens flare um, over here you guys can see the lens flare acting at its best and you know also created some night scenes and some interior scenes that weren't developed as as well I also created an animation that didn't render completely but I think uh, when it when it finishes rendering it's going to turn out very very awesome 
and I just think this model you know just worked very very good and here are some of the results so these are, these are some of the images that we took out and uh, they look very very cool so this this sky was a clear sky from the real skies model and over here you guys can see the grass that we use this is the wild grass it looks very very cool very realistic we also put some leaves over here on the pool and you know this guy looks, looks it looks very nice obviously there are some details that need some fixing like for example these plants over here and you know these uh this furniture doesn't look as real as it can be but i think it, it can improve a lot a lot and this is another image that we took out from from the, the model this this hasn't been retouched in photoshop at all this is like the straight raw image so as you guys can see this is a girl that's a very famous girl in lumion there you guys can see the house the the sun the lens flare and you know how this vegetation looks the quality of the vegetation i mean i don't know if you guys are as impressed as i am but i think you know if i only did this in a few hours i think what you can do with lumion 9 is you know on another level and you can do it much much better so these are some some different shots as you guys can see the whole scene over here the whole landscape grass it has a lot of texture to it so it looks really really interesting even even from up above right you know with the cows and everything now here you guys can see with another type of grass it changes the mood the mood completely and obviously another sky and this is the animation that i you know that, that i started to create but i didn't get to render it all which i also think is looking very very awesome maybe we needed some wind and yeah this this scene took a while because of the reflections that we had in the pool and uh, just all the plants that we had in the scene it just took a while to render and my computer isn't the best computer but as you guys can see the quality in this is so crazy it's crazy good so this is the night scene i also put them some lights on the model some interior scenes that i couldn't really work out as much because i didn't i didn't have time to detail them but you guys can see over here this this wood wood paneling the floor the, 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 the reflections on the floor and you know it just looks very awesome i like this image a lot and yeah so i think uh the possibilities with lumia 9 and you know the the real grass effect and the real skies um just are endless and i think if if you work on it if you have a very very nice detailed model you can accomplish something very very cool as well so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm going to put it be putting i'm going to be putting out more lumion 9 videos in the future so let me know what you guys think about lumion 9 and if you want to find out much more about lumion 9 if you want to purchase it i hear they're, they're they are putting out a student trial i'm not sure about that yet but I, i'm here i'm hearing something about that you want to go to lumion.com and there you can have all the information on your system requirements if you can if your computer can stand lumion 9 or not and everything that you need to know about lumion all right so thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next video bye